doctor shot and killed their mother. Tessa Humphreys reports. Meet me and you, twin male black bear cubs from the Campbell River area. We estimate we're probably born in about February, so they're only a few months old. They were brought to the North Island Wildlife Recovery Association on Saturday after their mother was shot and killed by a hunter. So he had observed an adult bear for some time with no sign of cubs, went ahead and shot the mother, um, not knowing that. And then it wasn't until he was leaving that he heard noises and discovered that there were two cubs. So he did the, it is, it is. He did the right thing though by going to the um, conservation officers and reporting what happened and then helped them to go back to the site, locate the cubs. But getting the cubs to safety was a story in itself. A tree climber was needed as well. The cubs were about 60 feet up a tree, so it took them two days to, to uh, get the cubs down and to us. So they were without mum for about, about three and a half days. Now, with a helping hand for feeding, the outlook for these two is bright. They are gaining weight, which is really good. Um, that's an indication, too, that we're doing a good job in feeding them. They're not dehydrated anymore. They're, you know, they're looking nice and pink, and so it's, it's all good. Especially since they have each other. They snuggle up together most of the most times. You know, you look in their kennel and it looks like there's just one bear. Um, they're, they're very close with each other. And one's feeding more readily than the other, so hopefully he'll encourage the other one to, to eat as well. The center hopes to release the cubs back into the wild in 18 months. Hundreds of students and their teachers are beaming with pride tonight in the Comox Valley after accomplishing a huge goal. A high school set out to perform a lip dub of a classic Canadian song. Sky Ryan shows us how it went. She's facing her last month in high school and all the carefree days. Hey, go 